What's up, people? It's your boy Joshua. I'm here today in Cripple Space Program. And what you're seeing here is Skydrop. I wanted to test this craft out. I need to do a few more adjustments. But I wanted to test this craft out because I wanted to do... I've been watching some videos of different games and I've been watching the mechanisms of the engines and how some engines kind of swing out. It's like a dual, fa dual downward facing engine. And then it pops up and it's facing rear like this. To me, that's amazing, and I would really want to see how well this works in Kerbal Space Program. So, yes, I did say I was going to take a break from Kerbal Space Program, but no, I cannot do it quite yet until I see how this, how well this works. So let's give you a nice visual of how this will work. Now, pay very close attention to the dual rototrons as they rotate us. So there you go. And that's what it would look like and then we rotate ourselves back and we get this so you can see both of them rotate one stops at when the one stops at 90 the inner one stops at 90 to make sure we're getting the, the proper angle the second one since we already have a downward facing uh beam for the engine to sit on is going to have to go 180. That means the one that's going 90 needs to go at half the speed of the one that's going 180. So the ones that are going 90 are going five, the ones that are going 180 are going 10. So that being said, I think we are ready to test this out. So here is our craft ready to rock. We're gonna hit our brakes so we don't have all this wobbling bobbling going on. And let's bring out, uh, Hey, 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 sit still, sit still. Um, so we're going to bring this nice and level. We're going to fire up our engines, bring it up a little bit. And that's not going to be enough to do anything, but it's going to stable us out. So what I want to do is I want to test a rotation on these wings to make sure they're working. All right, so that definitely works, but we're not going to be able to swing everything down because the wheels are a little tight to the ground. So what we're going to do here is we're going to lift ourselves up and then rotate our wheels, our wings. So gentle controls are active. Let's go full throttle. Let's lift ourselves on up. Gentle down, gentle down, gentle down, gentle down, gentle down, gentle down, gentle down. No. Okay. So we need to rebalance that. Engines are hot. We're going full throttle on the lift off. And it looks like we have it. So next thing we need to do is rotate everything. Oh my God. <laughs> it works. It kind of works, but it works. Look at that flex on that we in that wing but that will work oh my god oh my god it totally works it totally works wow but there's way too much flex oh that way we gotta be careful with these maneuvers <laughs> Oh, it's like raising the roof. Okay. That's okay. Um, these joints are not very strong. We know this, but it is... <laughs> oh my god. So we're going to come down and swing everything back around. And, and have a, a, a very bad time doing so because, oh my god. Oh, that's bad. Okay, so we have a problem with that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to kill our thrust. And we're going to reverse. Whoa! 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 <laughs> so here's the problem. The wings 
it does not like to do that with the wings. So we're going to have to put the wings on a, rotated, a rotation to stop it from swinging around with our craft. Because that is causing so much, um, so much drag that it's going to definitely affect our craft. And it's also going to give us a bit more, um, a bit more clearance. So let's do that real quick. And that's a really simple fix. So we'll just go here. I'm just going to remove all that. And in here, we can either put it up top here, which won't work because this all has to be extended out around our pivot points. So we can come here like so. We can do it the non-infernal non, uh, robotics method. Put this here. Drag this all down to the center. Slide this over ever so slightly. And now we can actually take this and we can actually drag this. I don't want to hit control Z because I already know what happens if I do that. I already know what happens if I do that. And what's going to happen is it's going to wipe a lot of my infernal robotic settings out. So I'm not going to control Z that. I'm just going to go ahead and do it all over again. Be very careful with control Z. Do not use a lot of control Z if you have infernal robotics going at the same time. All right, so let's move this here. Slide this out. Forward some. All right, and now we're just going to take this wing, and we can put this wing right here. And we just want it to be on just the outside of everything. So we can go like that, and it should be fine. And everything's going to rotate on the inside of our wing. So basically what we need to do now is get that off of there. And this now needs to, we need to check our rotations. So let's go ahead and bring this up and let's check our rotations. And what I see here is I can actually, see that front one, that front one unfortunately, because if I wrote, no matter which way I rotate it, if it goes down, one's gonna have to face the wrong way. So, unfortunately, with this design, it kind of gives me a nice little counter thrust, and which kind of stalls me out a bit. But I think I should be able to make it work. So we're gonna go and take this here. We're gonna put a little brace here. We're gonna put a little brace back here, and we're gonna use that for the. To stiffen up the wings a bit and this is going to be good because it's actually going to stop all the all the raising the roof of the aircraft we don't want it to raise the roof we want it to actually stay fairly rigid for our airplane to not have to worry about flopping all over the place uh, so that's all there and now I want to actually swing this out so it's midway so I can see exactly where I need to be and I can actually drag this in, it looks like. And let's see if what we're gonna do for clipping here. That looks pretty clean. That actually looks really clean. I like that, I like that a lot. So I can actually bring this in a lot here. And now we can take a look at the final prod product and how it stays nice and away from our wing. I like it. All right, so also what we need to do is remove this because that's gonna throw us off balance. And now we can go here, check this out, check our thrust and see that we are really bad with our <laughs> wing. Our wing needs to go forward, but I'm very hesitant to move it. So let's go ahead and throw a wing up front. I think these have a lot of lift on. So let's drag this down and drag it forward and drag it in. That's going to give us that. And I can actually pull that off because we're using this for the pitch as well. So that would snug us up right in the back there. It gives us a nice amount of clearance. And I think 
this bird is ready to fly, let's go ahead and set this to only pitch. So all of our roll is directed right in the center, and hopefully this one will work. Let's see if our modifications will work. So right off the back, we're wobbling. We're wobbling a lot, a lot of wobbling. Come on, no wobbling. No more wobbling, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Respect yourself suspension. Okay, so <laughs> let's go ahead and bring this out. This is a little ridiculous, but we're gonna try to make the best of it. Engine's hot. This is gonna give us a little bit more balance. Whoa! There we go. There we go. Oh, 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 oh girl. Oh, 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 oh. A little less throttle. A little less throttle. All right. Looking good. Looking good. All right. Let's convert it on up. See how we look. All right. Coasting. Coasting. Flying. Stable. Looking good, looking good. Oh yeah, that's much better. Much better not having it on a on a hinge of any sort. Because now we can actually control our maneuvers a lot better. So what we need to do now is get up a little higher. And we're going to see about converting this all back over to VTOL mode. <sighs> Alright, here we go. So let's kill our thrust. Well actually no, we're not going to kill our thrust. We're going to see if we can actually just go straight to it first. And there it goes. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Couldn't ask for anything better. That is exactly how I want it to react. Just beautiful right there. All right. That is wonderful. Just look at that mechanism. Just watch, watch it convert real quick. This is exactly what I was hoping for when I was designing this. And that is the quad engine conversion. Oh yeah, I am loving that. It is absolutely beautiful. Oh my god, it freaking works. <laughs> so yeah, you have the thrust from all four engines, and we still have look at look at our flight time. We still have one hour and seven minutes of flight time with this aircraft. It is no slouch when it comes to flight time. We did not have to skip on any of our fuel in order to make this work. All we had to do is design around a few complications. And now we can actually come here, slow ourselves down, so we can come actually straight, almost straight down. And here we have a craft that's able to actually be VTOL with the four engines. Without having to have them all cramped in a, a space, all of them uh, kind of looped into one another, or any strange, weird you know, configuration, you have a nice VTOL aircraft that's able to use four Panthers for the time when you really got to get up and go. And then you have the ultimate maneuverability of this craft. This is a nice little thing. So I'm very happy to see this work. Let's give you one more shot of this working as we're slowly coming down. So you can actually see, we, we actually are coming down really nice and controlled. Uh, 10 meters per second, nice, gentle. We're almost at a hover, very nice. All right, so let's convert it one more time and give you exactly what we're looking at here. So you can actually see it go. And now. Oh yeah, loving it. Of course, we're not going very fast, so it's going to nosedive us. <laughs> but it's easy to pull out of because we have the appropriate amount of engines here. And if we wanted to, we could actually land in regular mode, even though it probably would teeter-totter all over the place because that's just how it works. So we have a fantastic little craft. Let's go ahead and put our wheels down. 
and our engines are currently off so we're gonna switch everything back over kick up our thrust a little bit here and see about bringing this bird on down I should have put some air brakes did not remember air brakes alright keep coming down keep coming down Heart is a little racing right now, as it always does with these vehicle maneuvers. Touchdown. Engine's off. Little bobble. And snap it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So there you go. There's our craft. And we are landed successfully. VTOL is a beautiful thing. For now, I'll catch you guys in the next video. It's your boy Jatwa, and I am out of here. A peace. I just gotta keep bobbling over because freaking suspension on this thing sucks!